You know, I don't know why, but for some reason when I think of RPG games, I'm very narrow-minded. Growing up in the 16 and 32-bit generation warped my thinking. Even though Final Fantasy looks nothing like it did when it was first released on the NES, and games like Fallout 4 continue to show us just what can be done and what can be called an RPG, I still can't wrap my head around it. For me, growing up, I used to drool over the complicated gameplay, lush colorful graphics, and deep storylines. Something about them just seemed so grown up. Almost as if gamers hadn't properly matured until they were able to beat Chrono Trigger or hit the last disc on Final Fantasy VII. What's up guys, my name is Jonathan and this is Keep It Retro. To put it lightly, I absolutely love old school RPG games. There's just something so quirky and fun about the way Japanese developers put these together. Developer Kimco continues this rich tradition with their huge string of mobile releases on Android and iOS. Arch Lion Saga is no different. Released as a so-called pocket RPG, favoring a faster and more direct way to the end credits, gone are the hour-long tutorials and cutscenes that can last a half hour in between your battles. It's all kept short and sweet and comes in a tidy package, lasting anywhere between 2 to 4 hours in total. Yes, you did see that right. You can complete Arch Lion Saga in under 5 hours, making this what has to be one of the shortest RPG games ever made. But its short length, emotional story, and 16-bit charm makes it such a hidden gem among the millions of titles you'll find on mobile. Keep watching the video to find out why you should download your copy today. Arch Lion Saga doesn't really set itself apart too much from the generic RPG of its type. It's set in some imaginary kingdom a long, long time ago when knights, witches, and monsters of lore roamed the land. You play as Leon, a young man destined to be the Arch Lion King. And as you progress on your journey, you gain three other companions who not only help you, but together are each part of what make up the Arch Lion King. Your mother and others like her had the mark of the serpent, a mark that will bring death to anyone who has it. In a moment of desperation to appease a cave monster, your mother volunteers as a sacrifice. Leon dashes off to save her, and as you watch your mother inch closer and closer to the waiting beast, something happens. A mark appears on your body, the mark of the arch lion. Leon jumps between his mother and the monster and quickly defeats it. Upon learning what you really are, the journey begins. At certain points, you will see a witch who will cryptically speak to you and tell you about your adventure. In her words, you live a sad but necessary existence and she vows to help you see it through until the end. In each new companion you meet, struggles with their own trials, they must overcome. It's pretty basic, but the pace they keep allows excitement and tension to build and is very well done since you are not bogged down by hours of filler and tutorials. You will journey across many varied locations, each unique in design, which really does help keep things interesting. I love that they stay true to the retro stylings of the SNES of the past. It's awesome to see brand new retro games coming out, and even with the fact that they won't get any points for being original, Arch Line Saga delivers beautifully with clean sprites and environments, and a bright color palette making it easy on the eyes. Character types are also pretty basic. Each companion will have a necessary skill needed to progress, with Leon taking on more of a warrior class and following it up with ranged and magic, etc. Much of what you would expect, but honestly there isn't a whole lot you can do to change classes in games like this. I still do love the sprites and character design throughout the game though. The enemy and bosses shine on screen as beautiful reminders of the 16-bit era. Much of that is because you never see your party in battle, only enemies. It would seem that the developers were more focused on flushing out enemies in the world rather than explaining too much who you are and just letting you enjoy the adventure. 
All in all though, I'm happy with the way this game had come together and I grew to love each of the companions as I progressed. The very end hit me with a surprise and left me feeling somewhat sad and honestly longing to keep going. I really hope that there's an Arch Lion Saga 2 and it will pick up with the same characters and delve even deeper into the last experience. This could be a series really worth following on mobile. Moving on into the gameplay, the way Arch Lion Saga is played is like your regular turn-based RPG game. Each character attacks in turns and waits for enemies to attack before proceeding. It has a very old school feel to its approach on the battle system. It never shows your character on screen, but instead you are treated to a huge enemy sprite in full detail. Each monster has its own attack animations and will give you a surprising challenge. Even with beginners in mind, I did find myself locked into some fights that took me more than 15 minutes to complete and to chip down boss's health with enough to win. The touch controls are used to great effect, with a static d-pad and button, or swipe controls being used to guide your party around the world and to interact with objects. But as soon as you are thrown into battle, a more simplified UI is presented to allow you to focus solely on gameplay rather than navigation of menus. A cool feature is the ability to heal, anytime you like. You are given a pendant that acts as a healing item and you are able to use it each turn. The health of your party is presented as one big life bar, so the more companions you have, the higher your level and the more health you have. It simplifies party management and once you do have the elf companion, every few turns you can heal almost your entire health bar giving you an easy way to stay alive even during boss battles, as long as you are willing to stay on top of it though. Not to mention the vampiric arch lion can drain health from opponents and use it to heal you. You can change some weapons and armor, but I was never able to actually change my weapon for Leon, but all other characters had a level of customization that I did appreciate in the game. This game is very easy to figure out and is straightforward in its presentation, which is something that on mobile is greatly needed. You will have a lot of fun playing this. With the graphics in this game, it's something that definitely shines. I love the engine of this game. For the first time on mobile, I felt like I was playing something familiar. It was as if I was playing the SNES in the palm of my hand, and I enjoyed every second of it. And for the most part, it plays silky smooth. Although there was never a whole lot going on on screen at one time, I still encountered some slowdown on my device, especially after saving and when I entered a new area. It didn't hurt the experience, but with the fact, the lugging on my phone could just be a related device issue. The other feature I really did like was the screenshot button. It's on the top left part of the screen and it allows you to take a picture at any time in game that you would like to and then save it directly to your device. In fact, a lot of the pictures I did use in a review prior that I had written. It's really cool for those of us who enjoy sharing on social media and on blogs. So with that being said, Arch Lion Saga was a great experience from beginning to end. Even though some of the game was rushed, it was still a joy to play, and I think the next installment in the series will do a good job to fix any of those issues from the last one, and this will be a mobile series worth following for years to come. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a great start, and I love seeing new retro style games. It's almost like the 16-bit generation never ended, and for me, that's great. Definitely give this a download to your Android or iOS device today. You won't regret seeing this one all the way to the end. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed my review today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my channel. And always check back because I do release videos weekly. And for the latest in retro and modern video game news and reviews, one up your game today. Thank you.